And here we are. We are currently in a 1.20.1 pack. Oh, this feels awesome. It's been... It feels like it's been ages since the last, like, major version update to Minecraft. But there's quite a lot of, uh, like, different stuff that's been added. Like, the archaeology stuff and stuff. But just, just in regular Minecraft, let alone all the modded stuff. But anyway, um, yeah, here we go. So... This is the Forge beta. I think Forge actually updated the day that 1.20.1 came out. I think it was seven days ago that Forge got updated. So, and that's seven days ago since 1.20 came out as well, which is insane. Like, the, the, I swear mods are getting quicker and quicker to update. Also, I just want to... Oh, wow, this looks weird. I just was going to say, uh, I wanted to point out that that took no time at all to load. Like, literally no time compared to what we're used to with the modded community. What the heck is this? Wow, okay. This looks really cool. So, I'm going to make a Pilpo L... Or actually, I normally put an apostrophe S, don't know. Pilpo's LP world. Set it to normal. Uh, allow cheats. I'm actually going to turn that one on purely because, you know, we'll be updating the pack quite a lot. Uh, world type default. Now, am I right in thinking that there's other world types? No, there isn't. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to put this as Pilpo's LP. I hope I don't get the same uh, like world that I got in my previous. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm quite excited to play a new world, if you know what I mean. Because I also use that world for other things, for the server and stuff. So, oh, you can do all of this stuff. That's awesome. World updates, drops, spawning. You can turn stuff off and on. Wow. Okay. Well, we're not going to touch any of that. What's experiments? Uh, potentially new features. Be careful as things might break. They can't be turned off after. Okay. We are probably going to... Enables experimental bundle item. Okay, we'll leave that. We'll leave that for now. And there's data packs and stuff. So we're just going to create world. I want to see how quick this takes. Because I swear it takes flipping ages in uh, 1.19.2. To be fair, we had like a redonkulous amount of mods in all the mods 8. Like over 300. Right? And this has only got 75 or 72 or something. So, I do expect this to be kind of quick, and it is kind of quick. Now, we've got Whaler, or is that's not Whaler, is it? What is it? Slash the one probe? Maybe it is Whaler, or is it Jade? Oh, it is Jade. Cool. So, you can hide it, or you can show it. I, there's probably an option to change what your Jade looks like. Uh, map is not bound to M. Okay, we might have to go through the keybinds, just to have a look. Uh, change map type. Show hide. Full screen map is J right now. Oh yeah, of course, because it's journey map. Oh, oh, oh. oh, poo. I think this is... This is the same... Oh, please don't say this is the exact same as my old save. Like... It's got the little island and everything. I think it is, you know. Yep, there's my island. Okay, I'm going to actually restart and we're going to have a new map. I'm going to name it something else as well. There you go. I've called, well, the seed is going to be Pilpo's ATM9 LP. And I have changed the difficulty to hard as well. So let's create world on that one. And here we are. We are in a new world. Ooh, what is this? This must be Biomes of Plenty, right? Yeah, Mahogany. Awesome. So we do have, I don't know if this is FTB Ultra Mine, but we've got some sort of like uh, vein mining feature. Oh, Terracotta. Yes, please. Uh, can we just yeah, vein mine a few of these things? I know Roots Classic is in this, so that's a good, good bit of food to begin with. Even though we're using our food using vein mine right here. So, uh, okay. I should probably vein mine one of these mahoganies, right? Don't know how many logs are in this. Ah, oh, too many. 
Wait, why is it only 14? Doesn't it go up to... Oh, there's a, there's a few more down there. Maybe I, I just missed the ones that are down there. Normally, it goes up to 64. Maybe they've changed it. They might have changed it in this version, which is fine. Just good to know all of the differences, right? So that's kind of what we're we're here to do. There is no fast leaf decay by the looks of it. Yet. I should say yet with everything that I'm saying right now because... Uh, yeah, uh, this pack is going to get updated like a ridiculous amount of times, just like it did with uh, all of the older mods, to be fair. I think even all the mods 7 is still being updated. Like, that's it's crazy in my opinion. Anyway, yeah, we are going to walk around and probably try and find somewhere to live. I know the map's probably... Oh, I keep pressing M. There you go. There's the map. Um, oh, that's the old map, because I named this the same as uh, the other one. Over there looks interesting. Volcanic Plains. Which over, over this way. Okay, maybe we run over there. Try and find some sheepies on our way, obviously, because we want to get ourselves a bed. Sprout. Interesting. There's a lot of sprouts right here. What do they give us? Oh, that's a point. If I go to keybinds and then do this, uh, how do I just do keys? Uh, what is it? Vein mine? Multi mine. That's what it's called, right? I'm changing that to F because I always change it to F, and then um, switch to off hands. Is that what it's called? Or off? And I'm unbinding that because I never use that. So now my F key. Oh, did I not save that? Oh, that's annoying. Uh, no, that one is that. Uh, off. No, it is there. What? Okay. What uses F then? Okay, it looks like. Oh yeah, F is working now. Uh, it looks like it was working. It just doesn't work on the sprouts for some. Or the little highlight doesn't work on the sprouts. I come over here and I do that. You can see that it, it did do a vein mine right there. Nice bit of roots right there. Uh, we were running over in this direction. Isn't this drip leaf? Interesting. Right, anyway, I want to get over to <laughs> the volcano, even though it looks like it's covered in sprouts, which is interesting. I also really wanted to find some bamboo, so this was, this was like fate right here, because... Um, there is new wood in 1.20.1, and that is bamboo wood. So you can actually, I don't think it's this. I think it's, you have to use a crafting table. And you get bamboo wood by doing this. And then you can break this down into bamboo planks. Also, I just noticed, what the heck is going on with J.I.? It looks like it's got all of the wood variants. Nicely arranged for you. I like that. That's pretty nice. Right, let's take our crafting table with us. And yeah, we'll go over. To... Oh, I knew that would happen. Attempt to get over here without dying. There's piggies at least, so got a bit of food. It's not bad. I mean, we could grow some food out of these wheat seeds, I suppose. I would love, I would love actually, uh, I'm going to leave the pigs alone for now, I'd love to find this is black sand. Ooh. Ah yeah, it's 16, you see that? It's 16, the, uh, the vein mine that you've got. And it doesn't come directly to you, interesting. Right, I'll grab a bunch of this because this is nice building material, can you... Uh, Oh yeah, you can make some black sand. Oh hello, black sandstone. This biomes are plenty. Love it. I'm not sure I want to do a volcano base, if I'm honest. Yep. Let's make sure we don't fall off anything. This is a cool looking area, though, isn't it? I did turn down the volume straight away, by the way. I I changed it to like 18. And I changed the master volume to 18 as well. The, so 
Master Volume 18 and Magma Blocks, nice. Oh, and Basil. Yeah, sorry. So uh, I changed the uh, music volume to 18, and I also changed the. Well, there's a waystone, brilliant. The master volume to 18. I just I like putting them on 18. Don't ask why. So there is a waystone straight away. Huh. Right. Not gonna lie, I had to <laughs> recreate the world because when I right clicked the waystone, I don't know if it's to do with the waystone. To be fair, uh, it just. Uh, corrupted my world. Are you going to get this a little bit? How do we get that? Right click doesn't work. Oh, you just punch it. Oh. Yeah, keep coconuts. Yum. Yeah, uh, you're going to get that quite a bit. Especially at the beginning of uh, all the mods. It's just a thing that happens, right? Uh, I'm basically alpha testing right now. I'm trying to figure out where to put the crash reports right now as well. Uh, if I find out, I'll put a link in the description where you can chuck all your crash reports and I'm sure the ATM team will get to it and sort them out as soon as possible. They're so great, honestly. The ATM team are amazing. Uh, I'm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to right click this again and see if it corrupts the world again. Fingers crossed it doesn't. If it does... I'm just not going to right click it. I'm just going to ignore that the waystones are in this for now. But let's give it a go. Okay, it was a couple of seconds after that. And I came over here and then I crashed. And I crashed again. Excellent. So, we're back at spawn for now. We're just back over here. Uh, new new world and everything. Uh, I'm using the same same thing every single time. I will, I will just say that... It does reset your keybinds every time. So, uh, multi mine is now left alt for some reason. So, I'm going to put that back as F. And uh, if I do key, so this is the new way you do it you do key and then F, like that. And now you can see all the stuff that's on, on F. So, I actually want to remove, I think it's this one, the control F, because. For some reason, that's a thing, and now I can go over here. There's an Enderman right there. <sighs> yes. Enderman, please, please drop me an Enderpearl once I actually get something so I can come kill you, because Enderpearls are a massive pain in the bum to find. For me, at least. I don't know if it's like that for everyone. I always find it really difficult to get Enderpearls. So, if I'm right in thinking... Let's do one of those. I'm probably going to die doing this, thinking about it. Where is he? There he is. Uh, do I dig myself into this and then I can... There we go. Safe spotted. Love it. He hasn't TP'd away yet, so that's a good sign. Ow. Oh, he dropped me an enderpearl. And he took half my health, so I'm glad that I safe spotted. Flipping egg. Cool. Oh, before I do that, let's make ourselves a quickie pickaxe. This is going to be kind of like a 1.20.1 sort of playthrough. Just vanilla to begin with. Not really vanilla, because there's a few bits that aren't vanilla, obviously. I'm going to grab that. Can you turn moss rooted dirt? Is that a new thing? No idea. Can you turn moss carpets back into moss? Is that a thing? No. No. Uh -oh. I know the new eggs from uh, whatever they're called. The new mob that's been added. Let's get some cows. Why not? Yeah, they uh, they grow quicker if you're on uh, some moss blocks. So I'm going to try and make some of those. Eventually, get some leather. Lovely. We do have supplementary in here, which is kind of a really big mod, if you look at it. I was just looking through all of these. There's like the exchangers as well, and pipes is in this. Uh, I'm not sure there's much that adds like world gen, to be fair. We have got the uh, the quarry plus mod, so I might end up making quarry. 
That is a lot of stuff to do though, right? To get a regular old quarry. Ooh, the solid fuel quarry, that's not as bad. So I could always set this up. I think that might be the plan. I might set one of these up for my uh, my gathering stuff. There's also roots, and there's a lot of stuff in roots that we can go through at the start of this, this playthrough. Oh, we got a sink. Thank you very much. Always nice to get. Supplementary is fantastic. I might leave uh, Waystones alone for a little bit, just because uh, of what we've just seen. <laughs> I don't know if that's to do with uh, with uh, waystones or something else that's happening, but it seemed to be waystones, didn't it? Unfortunately, uh, yeah. I don't. Should we do ore and see what's in here? Looks like it's just all of the default ore. We do have the um, the new pottery thingy, which I don't really understand. I don't know why it's you know why it was added, but uh, decorative. I mean. That's fine, having a decorative thing. Obviously, us modded people, we uh, we like our stuff to actually have a use, but not everything can have a use. Especially us uh, that don't really build too much. So yeah, I, I quite like this area. Oh, I, I let go before. Okay, right, let's, let's just punch this wood for now. Yeah, I think... What I'm going to do is uh, I'll probably just set up a little base right here because it's nice and flat. Yeah, looks kind of nice. I quite like this new multi-mine thing. I don't know if it's got a... Oh, it does. It has a selected shape thing. So, shapeless or tunnel. Now, what does the tunnel do? Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, I like that. Uh, okay, let's let's put that dirt back. And yeah, I'm just going to go around. I'll clear this area out a little bit. It's nice and flat, so we can set up a nice little base. So I'm just digging out an area, and I did find some gravel. So I'm doing the old, you know, stick a torch under it as it's falling to pick up all of that gravel. Uh, yeah, I just decided to do a little bit of mining to begin with. It's always a good idea, isn't it? Let's get a little bit of resources. I'm trying to make it so I can fit some stairs in here as well. So, four. Four long. Or you could do it the other way, which is four down. Uh, and I did make some torches real quick. Lovely! Found some, uh, some iron ore straight away. That's quite a lot of iron, actually. How much is that? Ten. Ooh, I hear some... Some boots. Actually, nothing you can do with it yet. That's brilliant. Okay. There might be something to do with um, roots, though. I haven't really played with roots too much. I, I did do the the old, you know, make it super, super speedy wand thing when the wand was broken. Or staff. Sorry, it wasn't a wand. It was a staff. Uh, in all the mods 8. But other than that, I don't think I've done much. But yeah, let's get some copper. Thank you very much. I'm a little worried that I can hear that zombie. So, I might have to. St oh, and I can hear a spider as well. Yeah, I might have to stop soon and go back up to the surface. Although, saying that, I think it might be dark right now. So, well, I need to go up anyway because I, my pickaxe just broke. Brilliant. Yeah, it looks like it's dark out there. Oh, this recipe's not in here. No! <laughs> It's fine. I'll uh, I'll just make some regular chests like the normal way that everyone else has to make them. Oh, that's a good haul though for our first our first haul of stuff. That's not bad, is it? Oh, I doubt this recipe's in here either. Oh, it's not. Wait, Curios isn't in this yet. Wow. Okay, I thought the Curios API would be updated like straight away as well. It is fine. Let's get a couple more torches. I might get, oh hello, yeah, I might get a couple more, well, I'll get another pickaxe. <gasps> the mouse tweaks thingy isn't in here either, so I'm middle clicking right now and it's not working. There's no tiny coal, is there? No, I, I doubted there would be tiny coal. Oh, there is the muffler mod though. <laughs> Can't believe that got updated so quickly. Right, if we're going to do that, we might as well smart up. Do you what, let's make a new one, why not? Let's make another furnace. I should probably get myself a little base set up, as I said, but 
I'm just excited to go mining for once, because uh, there's a point in all the mods 8 where you just stop mining, because you've got everything automated, and it's all mined for you, if you know what I mean. Um, and especially with that update, where, where they just added phytogenic insulators, and then that became the meta. Yeah, that, that really annoyed me, if you couldn't tell, in my uh, multiplayer playthrough. Uh, that was super annoying, because it's like, oh, okay, I'll have to set up all the flipping seeds, do I? Um, I don't doubt that they're going to add mystical agriculture to this pack as well, because it's kind of like a staple of all the mods at this point. Which is fine. I'm just going to have to live with it, right? <laughs> Anyway, we're going to go do some more mining, and I'll probably, I'll probably have to make armor and stuff. I'm, I might try and go, I don't know, kill the ender dragon. Seems like a good, good thing to try. So, what are the mods that you guys are, like, desperate for in all the mods 9? I think, for me, I would love it. I mean, it all depends on the developers, right? But I would love it if Britannia got in there pretty quick because I'm a proper Britannia nerd. Love a bit of Britannia I do. Uh, plants, flowers, like in real life, not a fan. It's just uh, like everyone always talks about gardens. Like how's your garden come in? And I'm just like I, I don't really care about the garden. It's more my house than any anything else but yeah. Uh, what do you guys I really want to see. Obviously, I want to see modular routers as well. As soon as modular routers is updated and put in the pack, that's what we're going to focus on probably because I love a bit of modular routers. It's just like the best mod out there right now. Or my favorite, sorry. When I say the best, that's obviously my own opinion. What was I saying? I completely forgot. Oh, yeah. Um, What, what mods are you excited to see? I think a few people are going to be like Mechanism because Mechanism is just... Again, it's a staple in the ATM packs, and it's a staple in most packs, to be fair. It's really weird trying to play a fabric pack because uh, Mechanism isn't supported in fabric. Can I, can I just mine all of this andesite? I might use andesite for a bit of building. Yeah, let's get, get all that andesite. Nice. Did I? Yeah, I got some iron so I can continue mining. Yeah. Oh. Tell you what I should do. Video settings, let's go. Brightness. Let's whack the brightness all the way up so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Hey, there we go. It's weird not having that on my one button. Yeah, so I think uh, what I might do is I might actually set myself the goal of killing the Ender Dragon. I think that's, that's like a, a good goal to do. Maybe I'll set myself the goal to kill the Ender Dragon before like a ton of mods get added. Because I feel like you miss out on some of the experience if you just have a, a mod that comes in and you know you've got ridiculous power armor where you don't take any damage and uh, you can fly about and you can like one shot the Ender Dragon, stuff like that. Yeah, kind of uh, missing the point a little bit, but yeah. Let me know what you think about that as well, because uh, I always like to set myself goals. Oh no, my uh, pickaxe broke and I can hear a skelly. Is that a... Is, oh my... Uh, there he is. Oh, running. Ow. Oh. Uh, I think an axe is better, right? Everyone always says use an axe is better. Ow. Oh my god, he actually did an absolute ton of damage. This is on hard, isn't it? It is on hard. Oh dear. Oh, I need that. Let's chuck those away. Uh, do I have iron smelted? I do. Maybe we smelt up all of our iron real quick, and then I can get some armor going. So, I was just looking into wool, and obviously you can get wool from some string, and I forgot supplementary adds the flaxseed. Now, I don't think you can actually find it by breaking, you know, breaking some of these uh, these leaves, or not leaves, what they called, grass. Bit unfortunate, we might have to try and find some out in the world, because I think it does spawn out in the world, like the actual flax, but that means that we can grow ourselves a bed. What the heck is that over there? Oh, 
There's a dolphin. There's a dolphin already. What the? Oh, no, nope, don't fall in. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, I do want to try and do some of that archaeology stuff as well. You know, where you get the uh, the brush and everything. Let's grab some of this. Can I make a chest plate? I can. That does use all of my iron, though. I'm sure I'll find some more. It's all good. Oh, there's no middle click. Oh. I can't sort my inventory. This is ah, uh, this is brutal, but ah, uh, it's so fun playing like this. It's just new. <laughs> Feels nice. Oh, I forgot about this as well. There's the uh, the armor trimming. So if you're a RuneScape nerd like I am, you'll know that uh, getting someone to trim your armor for you is uh, a little bit of a scam most of the time. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Is actually in Minecraft now, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to definitely do that. I think you get that from archaeology again. So you have to find like this weird little temple thing. And then underneath there's some like gravel. Or there's like... Oh, what is it? It's... It might say it in here to be fair. Gravel. Yeah, this stuff. Suspicious gravel. So this stuff here, if you use a... Uh, a brush on it, so brush, one of these things, actually in Minecraft. It's got durability. I did not know it had a durability, brilliant. Uh, so we are going to have to find a feather. Oh, but you can enchant it with unbreaking, mending. Just unbreaking and mending, okie doke, we could do that. Yeah, so you use this brush, so you just like hold right click on the suspicious gravel. I think there's suspicious sand as well. Let's have a look. Uh, where's sand? Suspicious sands, there you go. Is this suspicious? How do you spell it? Sus. Okay, there's only two. So sand and gravel. So we're going to have to go look for those and then you get these trim things? Trim. Yeah, there they are. So you get all of these different types of trim right here. I'm guessing a few of these. Oh, oh, yeah, I just want to point this out as well. Sorry, as I remembered it. Uh, netherite has changed, and I want to see it, what it looks like in, there we go, yeah. So you need one of these, uh, netherite upgrades, which you can duplicate with some diamonds and a bit of netherrack, but you actually find these in the nether now, so we'll have to try and do that at some point, get ourselves a full set of netherite gear, including, you have to do it for the tools as well, so that's pretty cool. I want to see how, how far I can get with, like, barely any mods. Even though this is called All The Mods. Obviously, it's called All The Mods, and all of the mods are technically in it right now, because they're all the mods that are updated. How do you guys place stairs in your mine? Do you, uh, do you go backwards like me, or do you do it from the bottom, and then bring it up? So, obviously, with uh, All The Mods... A, you have FTB Auto Mine, which lets you like pick different shapes. In this, you've only got Tunnel or Shapeless, and it only goes up to 16 blocks. So I found a new way to mine, which is you mine out this first block like that, and then you tunnel that much, and then you mine out this first block, tunnel that much, and so on and so on. Although, saying that, I did just recognize that there's some... <laughs> there's some... Uh, iron over there and I do want to collect as much iron as I can so I might have to pillar up to that. Looking at it, coming from the bottom is actually maybe quicker. Oh I don't know. It's difficult isn't it? Oh for god yeah go on sort off. Uh we need to find some sheep soon. At least I didn't die there. That's pretty good. Technically I've not died yet in all the mods nine. That's a bit oh no speak of the devil. Running away now. Please don't come down here. Oh, you flipping kidding me. Okay, I'm out of his... Ah, uh, now I can't get back up. <laughs> I need, like, another way out of this mine. Oh, just had a creeper and a spider run up at me. Oh my god, there's loads! There's loads over there! What the heck? You can see it on the map. There's loads of red dots. That's annoying right there. <laughs> Right, I think uh, as soon as it hits daytime, I'm going to actually start building something. And I think I'm going to use diorite, because I was just looking up white concrete, because it's what I normally build with, right? 
actually don't know a good way of getting white. White dye. Uh, the lily of the forest would be, or maybe, no, because the white tulip doesn't, yeah, it only gives you grey dye, or light grey dye. Oh, I forgot that Roots Classic was in this. Yeah, we're going to have to do some stuff with Roots Classic. So, we're going to have to find Lily of the Valley. Sorry, not Lily of the Forest. Lily of the Valley. Uh, or we can go find some uh, white petals. Or we're just going to have to kill a bunch of skellies. I have to go find a skeleton spawner if there's an easy one around. Uh, and I'm going to use... I never, never use this. Oh, by the way, kit it out. Look at this. I might make a sword, but again, there's no point really making sword when you got the axe. Oh, oh, uh, Corail is in this. Oh, that's really useful. I wouldn't know. Haven't died yet, so I haven't seen my gravestone. But I, I shouldn't really brag because you know what that <laughs> that leads to. Oh, I nearly ran straight into him. Oh, there's another one over there. Ooh, are you going to drop that for me, are you? No. Excellent. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm getting my uh, my base sort of set up right now. I'm just doing a basic circle, but I think I might have little... Oh, yeah, I don't know what happened there. I might have a little, like, offshoot on this side and then a big offshoot on that side. I think that'll look kind of cool. So, like, a cylinder coming off this side right here and then a small something on this side. I don't know, uh, I'm just, I'm not really a builder, as I've said before. I did just get, this is probably going to be dust. <gasps> Curse of Bones. Awesome. Anyway, the whole point about about that is uh, I've got a new knowledge of death point, so I'm going to always stick it in the treasure seeker straight away, because trying to get, oh, flipping it, there's another zombie over there. Yeah, trying to get uh, stuff from mobs for Corel tombstones is right pain in the bum. So the treasure, treasure, I can never say it, treasure seeker, there you go, gives you more of a chance of getting that stuff. So I'm going to slap every single level I get into this until it won't let me anymore. <laughs> so yeah, and then you can get basically every kill that you get, you get either a grave dust or you get something from Corel. So I know cal, is it called calcite? This stuff. I. I know it's um, kind of used by every everybody right now, but it's the only white block that I can find, and I, I can't really make white concrete right now. So maybe we swap it out later, but I am going to use this stuff. It's super easy to build with as well. And I just found it in the water. So I saw it in the water, and I've just been over here. I've got a load of pickaxes, and I'm just going to mine as much of this as I can. Oh, brilliant. That was uh, my first death. I don't remember where my spawn was. Oh, and I crashed. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, right, anyway, I'll, I'll jump back in. Okay, I had to uh, disable Oculus. That's one of the mods that's in here. Uh, I kind of just tried to figure that out on my own, and I figured it out. I did oh, you're kidding me, it blew up one of my chests. Uh, nothing happened, but I somehow managed to get some feathers. That's pretty decent. Okay, I kind of finished off what I had in my head, which is this sort of thing. Uh, to be fair, it was all made out of this uh, calcite stuff, but it needed a splash of colour, although black is black a colour? Like, that goes well with white? I, can't, I have no idea. I'm not really a builder, as you guys know, so... I'm more into technical stuff. Oh yeah, that's my death marker. Brilliant. Let's turn that off. Uh, remove? There we go. And then I will stick... Uh, create waypoint. Base. Why is it brown? It should not be brown. Let's do Pilpo blue, wherever that is. It's around that sort of area. Save. Nice one. Right. This is where I am going to call it for this episode. I think next time we are going to get into computer craft because there is, as you can see right here, there is like mining turtles and stuff. And I don't think I've ever done computer craft like on camera. 
I used to do it back in the day, like all the time. I just, for some reason, haven't done it in a while. So anyway, we're going to do a little bit of computer craft because obviously the mods are very limited right now. And uh, I might go get that waystone. I did go over and get the bamboo. And I did get a bundle drop as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, and I also got this enchanted scroll, which gives me Hero of the Villagers for 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minute cast. I should definitely go look for a village. Oh, of course, villagers are like ridiculously good, aren't they? So I should try and get villagers. Maybe get villagers back over here. Who knows? Uh, my little mine is just out here. Lovely. Right, anyway, this is what I'm going to call it. Thank you for watching, thanks for joining, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.